the next challenge statement is automated processing of, of addition and alteration plan submission. Uh, this is a challenge statement that is contributed by our housing and development board. I would like to invite uh, Luz Seikian, uh, Deputy Director, Engineering Services Section 1 of the Housing and Development Board, to share more about this challenge statement. Over to you, Seikian. Okay, thank you, Chitun. Thank you for the kind introduction. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, Marie Seikian. Uh, our, my, our challenge is to automate the current processing of the a, &A plan that we receive. It's quite a lot every month. Uh, so we hope that the, one of the participants will be able to help us. How, we're looking at how might we, sorry, how might we automate the search, retrieve and make the relevant drawing to help us improve the review and checking process of the a, &A, a plan submission. Okay, let me give you a bit of background. Before renovating HDB properties, the applicant, that is the, either the renovation contractor or the flat owner, is required to submit their proposed addition and alteration work. In short, I call it a, &A work. In the work plan, as shown on the right, to HDB to request for approval. Typically, uh, before COVID, we receive around 2,000 a, &A applications per month. And currently, we are processing around 3,000 a month. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, can you uh, turn the previous slide, please? Okay, the current practice, the HTV our officer will review the submission, uh, then we'll check against uh, our SPU plan to ensure the proposed a and work won't affect the existing building safety before we grant the renovation work. This current process is tedious, time consuming, it involves searching the relevant SPU plan and that's specific to the building project in our database. The HTV, our officer, uh, will to carry out the visual checking, compare it, the, the submission won't affect the existing structure in terms of demolition work. Hence, I mean, won't, the existing safety is uh, intact. Next slide, please. Okay, we are in that the deploy an intelligent knowledge base to help us streamline and automate our current process. So that help us reduce the time for my officer to process the plan. The solution to... Sorry. The proposed solution to automatically execute the task of searching the several databases to retrieve the relevant SQ plan and map it against the proposed a, a submission plan submission from the applicant that is a renovation contractor or by the flat owner, so that we will, we will know whether the existing structure will be hacked or demolished. So we will get the this, uh, this solution will help us uh, so that the relevant drawings involved can easily navigate between all the relevant drawings in this knowledge database. And my officer can simply assess the drawing by clicking on the drawing names or just type to access to the related drawing. Secondly, this uh, proposed solution also must possess the following features and capability. That means it must be able to recognize and interpret the submission that coming to us, whether in text and image data, provide the link to the text and image data to assess a relevant drawing, recognize and help us map the proposal against a view plan, identify any long compliance, that means if there are any demolition that affect the existing column or wall, let us to flag it up and let the processor know, and provide a user interface to compile and display relevant as view plan for also allow annotation. Lastly, generate a supporting report on the plan that don't meet our requirement. Okay, next few slides, I'll show you the relevant plans that of my processor used to process the a, &A work. Okay, this slide shows the building project site layout plan. For this case, there are two blocks for this project. Okay, the, I highlight the one, one of the block there to show you the few slides related to this block. Next slide, please. Okay, this slide shows the architectural block layout and also the unit layout plan. Next slide. 
Okay. Correspondingly, this text show you the structure layout plan and the structure unit layout plan. The structure layout plan for the whole block and the unit layout related to the application. Okay. Uh, next slide, please. Okay. The solution, uh, the proposed must also able to help us with digital plans uh, submit in other programs. Currently, we are some of the, most of the plans are in PDF. We would like the, the new system that help us to process and map the plan, able to read other format like PDF, DWG, JPEG, etc. Secondly, it must also work and integrate with the existing database reside in HDB. Lastly, we also the solution must be able to recognize those detail plan I mean the plan detail generated from memory drawn because uh, those buildings construct it before 1990s, the drawings are manually drawn. Next slide, please. To summarize the expected outcome, we must be able to, the digital platform must be able to help us to search, retrieve the relevant SQ plan from our HCV database to support our processing of the ANA works and also help us streamline the workflow, improve the work process minimize the human intervention and then lastly save the time and manpower with that i end my presentation yep. thank you so much uh, mr lu uh, yeah so i'd like to invite uh, your other colleagues from uh, hdb to turn on your camera and mic uh, and uh, help answer the questions as they come in as well uh, yeah so so the first question uh, that i have uh, uh, perhaps you can help me share more is that so uh, after the HDB uh, personnel has reviewed and processed the submissions right what do they need to uh, submit back could you share more uh, regarding that no usually in our approval if say that the submission that the unit plan has shown you they indicate uh -huh. to us say that that partition wall they need to have and after we check against our rescue plan it is not a structural wall or column. We will give the approval to the applicant with the set of condition that the contractor and the owner need to know because some on-site check they need to verify also. Sometimes plans, you see, on the site, they may, the previous owner may do some addition to it, we may not know. We are based on the aspect plan that what we have in our database. Uh, hope that answers your question, Yep. Yeah. Uh, there's a, another question. Uh, uh, because this I uh, have to do with uh, uh, assessing the drawings and documents you have on your database. Yeah. Uh, with that, do you have any data security concerns that innovators have to address? Uh, data concern. I think if the successful innovator come on board, we will definitely link them up with our in-house uh, IT group uh, to work together because they need the access to go in or this plan that reside in HDB database. Uh, Chukung, is it okay? Did you yep. have an answer your question? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and I believe that innovators, sorry, uh, continue. Okay, you can hear maybe just uh. supplement. I think uh, a lot of those drawing database are in HDB system, right? So uh, we roughly have the catalog and also we know those uh, unique that uh, the applicant is going to apply for the renovation. So we have to retrieve one set is architectural, one set is a structural. And then we map over and also superimpose over what the, the renovation contractor or resident proposed to do and to see whether any of those areas that they want to carry out, will that temper with the existing structure that support the, the building. So there's a way generally currently that, that is doing. So yes, uh, in the sense that as what my colleague just now said, can say, uh, yeah, a lot of those data are always residing in HDB system that we, we need to allow when during the project at the time, we will, of course, we have to allow, share some of this detail with the, the potential uh, applicants for the, the deployed system. Okay, right. thank you so much.